gonna make guacamole guys hey thanks for joining me on my channel my name is Zay, Zay. this is my dad neil we're gonna be making some guacamole i just said that it's okay um gonna be making uh two different recipes he's gonna make one mm -hmm. i'm gonna make one we're gonna taste test it and i think mine is gonna be the best I got my recipe from a restaurant. I got mine from a restaurant too. So I don't know who's going to be. Mine's going to be better. I don't know. I think mine is. I'm older. What? I've got more wisdom. I've got more mileage. I have more spunk. Okay. All right. And I'm a female. Ha ha ha. And it depends. <laughs> you know what? It really depends on the quality of the ingredients. That is true. You got to have good quality. Oh my gosh. You have to know exactly the best. You got it. You have to know exactly how the avocado feels because if it feels too tough and too hard it's going to be too hard to mush it's going to taste too i want to say yeah acidic, right not no or, it's or not, maybe not acidic it's, it's greenish greenish yeah, yeah like like a green apple that yeah. it's not it's not ripe enough and if it's too brown it just tastes too right, so, i don't like it so, so these you gotta are... find the perfect squish you know what i mean so you gotta find the perfect squish uh, mine is gonna be the best because I got my inspiration from a restaurant. Hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now yours might be better than mine. I may be putting in these ingredients and it may be a complete utter failure. But I have found two reasons to enjoy these two ingredients in guacamole and I'll tell you about those later. So we got several items here. We're both gonna use tomatoes. We're both gonna use yeah. lemon. Yeah, lemon, the best thing we ever. We don't have onion, but we have something that's very similar to it. It's a shallot. Mm -hmm. So a little shallot is about the perfect True. size for- I will say though, um, working with shallots and onions and um, there are uh, some different kind of onions. Uh, shallots, I think in my opinion, are more uh, potent and more um, strong than a regular onion. And we have Zoe's herb of choice today. Cause I love cilantro. This yes, is, this is cilantro. This is cilantro. And I'm yeah. gonna use a different herb, which she hasn't heard about. And I've got another secret item that I'm going to put in my guacamole, mm. which she's not familiar with. And we'll, we're going to do a test. He's blowing my mind. I'm not even prepared on what he's doing. I'm All prepared right. what I'm doing. All right, let's get to filming. I'm going to film Zoe creating her guacamole masterpiece. And then she's going to film me creating my guacamole mm -hmm. masterpiece. Now I want you to try and be really careful when you're trying to get this pit out. We're going to try and smack it and it might take a couple of times. Okay, so we got the pit out. So now I want you to slice it, but be very careful. Don't go through the skin. Be very gentle when you're slicing. Okay, now I'm going to use the spoon to get it out. Now what you want to do when you slice your lemon, you want to use about about a third of a lemon is good for one avocado. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze that in. Okay, so now you're going to grab some garlic and you're going to sprinkle that on just a little bit. You can always add more and then you want to add some salt and your pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna get some cilantro. So you wanna cut the cilantro 
in very small bite-sized pieces. Okay, now you wanna get your shallots. And then when you're done, just mix it up. Try and be careful of those tomatoes because you don't want to smush them unless you want to smush them. <laughs> yeah, and you are good to go. Definitely taste it. Add a little salt and pepper if you need or even a little lemon juice. Okay, I said I had two secret ingredients. These are my two secret ingredients. I've got green olives and I've got basil. So let me get started. You got seeds, I'm gonna get rid of the seeds. I'm telling you, that basil smells delicious. I'm doing all my herbs first so they can get flavored with the salt and the pepper and the juice of the lemon. Give that little toss. I'm gonna do my tomato, I'm gonna do my avocado next. You want to squeeze the avocado so the seed comes loose like that. And then I'm going to add some tomatoes after this and we'll be ready. So we both finished our guacamole and mine's better than yours. You ready for tasting? Who's gonna go first, my guacamole or yours? Mm, mine, but how do you even know yours is better? You haven't even tried yours yet. Okay, <laughs> grab, a, grab a chip. Do you wanna try mine first? I'll try yours first. Okay, okay. Since you made yours first. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right. And I'll wait for you. Okay, this is what you would find in a traditional Mexican restaurant here yeah. in Dallas, Texas. Those chips are salty, <laughs> but it's really good. I like it. And that's what I'm familiar with. That's what I'm familiar with when I go to a Mexican restaurant. All right, now you're ready oh, to yeah. try mine. Yes. And remember mine has green olives and basil instead of cilantro. Yeah, I don't know about this, but I'm, I'm willing to try this. That That's another thing. He has really good recipes, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I didn't get an olive in that bite. 
But let's check out the basil in that bite. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> That's okay. interesting. I did get an olive in the last... I mean, I didn't taste it right away, but I did taste a little bit of the olive. Y'all gotta try this if you ever get a chance. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a little interesting. <laughs> I think I could do without the olives, but I like the okay. basil. I like the basil in it. I don't mind the basil. Maybe even some, like olive oil which I've never heard of in a guacamole um, sometimes we do that with uh, sometimes with our guacamole that's for another recipe listen guys when you're <laughs> cooking experiment mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. because if you think about it the cavemen all they made for dinner was rocks you know <laughs> they went down to the river got some water ate some rocks and somebody said, well, look, there's these little red things growing on the vine, and they plucked them. They were tomatoes, so they started serving tomatoes and rocks together. And eventually, we grew into a world where we have thousands and thousands of concoctions. Be brave. You know, try from something. From rocks, okay. From rocks. <laughs> so be brave, yeah. Be yeah. brave and put something different in your food. Like, try a little basil in your guacamole. It's definitely interesting, yeah. I think maybe the next time we bought really salty chips, I think I'll do just corn with like no salt chips mm. or even some like baked chips or something. I like it. <laughs> I think he likes his more than mine. I like basil. <laughs> well, I get this all the time. Every time we go out to eat, you know, we, get, we order this, they make it at the table. You never get basil in your guacamole. But look how green mine is hers is green and mine <laughs> is a lighter color but i think it's because i had a different my avocado wasn't as green as yours i think that's part wow. of it i can say that i can say that experiment with your cooking and have fun i mean this is this is supposed to be fun food is enjoyable you know food should it can be, enjoyable. be it should be enjoyable it can't be unless you get those weird combinations and you're just like oh no i'll tell you this if you learn how to cook you will never have a bad meal unless you want to. Yeah. You can always go home and cook something that you know tastes good. You don't have to eat bad food if you don't want to. Thanks so much for sticking around with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Please tell your friends about us. Well, like I said, we're gonna do a video every week. So we do appreciate you guys sticking through the whole entire video. We are vegetarian. So we are gonna be doing a lot of vegetarian meals to kind of get you in the mood for something other than meat. Of so course. please yes. stick with us. I know it's hard. For those of you that have just started a vegetarian diet, remember, you can start with something small. Once a week, you do a vegetarian or vegan meal. No meat, no dairy, whatever you choose. Yeah, yeah. Do, do baby steps. That's true. It took me so long to get where I am. But um, thank you guys for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.